eradicate corruption. That means we're going to truncate corruption. Everybody talks about, well, we're going to reform, we're going to take a look. We're going to, no, we're going to eradicate corruption, which means, Martin, we're going to go back for the last 32 years, take a look at everyone who caused financial loss to the state, prosecute, get our money back plus interest, plus fees, plus charges, so we can use that to run the economy. Mm. Nobody says that. Only I. That's why I'm different. Okay. But Did you ever hear that from anyone? Uh, well, I, I, I'm glad. I, 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 I mean, the, the political parties, I mean, the issue of corruption is always topical in political conversations. And it hasn't been solved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, so there clearly is a challenge there. So how then do you intend to solve it that makes you different from, from simple. what we've been done during the last Martin, few years? simple. We're going to solve corruption three ways. Administratively, criminally, psychologically. Administratively means you start with the base level, which is institutional infrastructure. Institutional infrastructure means you're going to have everything you need to perform, and we're going to hold you accountable to it. And then from the institutional infrastructure, we're going to have systems <clears throat> run based, right? <clears throat> systems are three prong. Uh, it starts with an objective and mechanical part of the system and uh, the accountability part of the system, which right. we don't have in Ghana because Everything in Ghana runs on personality, which is um, not based on risk. It's based on trust. Mm. Trust-based systems don't work. Okay. Risk-based systems is what works. Because risk-based systems comes with the uh, 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 discipline part, which is holding them accountable. There's a consequence for everything that goes wrong. So a three-based system First of all, a lot of people talk very loosely about systems, systems, systems. They don't understand what systems are. Mm. Systems are performance behavioral mechanisms that guide you to a specific outcome. Okay. Okay. So everything we do in Ghana, oh, personality based. If it's Martin, the results are different. If it's Kofi, the results are different because it's not based on any system. Mm. You see, when you go to Kentucky Fried Chicken or Pizza Hut, the pizza is always the same, the burger is always the same because it's risk-based. It's not personality run, it's a system run. And that's what we're going to convert Ghana to be. So uh, we're going to have the institutional infrastructure, then we're going to have uh, the system, and then we're going to have it run on blockchain, which is in itself an algorithmic register-based transaction module that Ghana has never had. Okay. It's not just based on digitization. It doesn't mean anything when somebody says digitization because digitization by itself cannot be existent without something. You need something first, then you digitize. Okay. You can't digitize in a vacuum. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. So Good. now let's uh, look at Now we your... didn't finish your question. So the third part. You okay. Tell so now we just talked about the administrative part. Uh, this okay. thing is a whole hour. But okay. just to abbreviate this thing, so the administrator, I just talked about the administrative side. Criminally means everything you do, you prosecute, you put them in jail. The ax comes down. You see? And the type of leadership structure that we have, of course, we don't have a leadership of excellence. If you have a leadership of excellence, then it punishes corruption. It punishes substandardness. And then the leadership of excellence also promotes values and uh, 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 merit. Mm. And then you create a, a, a functional government system that holds that in, in equilibrium. That's the homeostasis of governance. We don't have that in Ghana.